Hello, chain gang. Welcome back to The Four Chains. And Top 5 Friday today is Season 2, Episode 2, The Five Funniest Internet Videos of All Time. Baby, we can't be together. Baby, we can't be together. Now, we're filming this the day after the Academy Awards. If you saw episode one, the five worst Academy Award decisions, we did correctly predict the winners last night and check out that video. But this one should hopefully be a lot less angering and should just make you laugh. I want to give you some background. Angie and I have a similar sense of humor. We both love these kinds of videos. When people would come over and we were waiting for a pay-per-view or something, these are the videos we would always play for them. And we knew even if they'd actually turned out to have seen it, they would still find it funny. That's the criteria. Videos that have stood the test of time over the years and are still funny even though you have already seen them. And now when we have guests over, we can just show them this video that you're working today and watching today and it'll work out perfectly. The other background for me personally is the Home Shopping Network. Now, there's a lot of videos out there of people falling down or having mishaps and you know, those are funny. I'm not saying I'm, I'm too sophisticated to enjoy those, but what made Hoping Home Shopping Network funny like that was, the mishap would happen or whatever, and then the reactions of the host that are supposed to be selling the item that has just hurt this person. And uh, I just, that's what elevates it in terms of funny for me. Here, I'm gonna show you an example here. Is the item number on this one. And the nice thing about these practice katana. This guy has a lot of faith in this katana and he whacks it against the table, as you saw, to demonstrate hit that faith. That faith was unfounded, of course, or you wouldn't be seeing this. Let's move on. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt big time. A piece of that just, the tip just got me, Odell. Oh, that got me good. You all right? A piece of that tip just got me. Unfortunately, the katana breaks and it winds up hurting the guy. The guy is hurt really bad, as you can see. Now, don't go looking for him because he is not gonna be back on the camera. And as funny as his situation is, it is not the funny part of the video. The real funny part is the other guy who's about to come in, Odell. Now, I remember Odell because he was standing right off stage because he does the next show, which is selling baseball cards. And that's what I used to watch. So that's how I wind up watching this video. And you would think that it's time for him to step in and save the day and his show's coming up next anyways. But maybe he could have handled it in a way that would have made the scene less alarming to viewers. Let's take a look. Oh, folks, right now, we uh, may need emergency surgery in the studio. Okay, let's get on the list. Now, I knew number five had to be a ladder video. It had to be a home shopping network type video, and it had to be a ladder video, and there's lots of good ones. I'm going to show you the most famous one now. Hey, Chris is over there kind of kind of giving us a look at how to use the ladder there. i got to tell you something. I have this ladder. It mm -hmm. is awesome. Oh, now, what and do you everybody use it for, wants, Everybody wants this ladder. I live in an apartment with um, vaulted ceilings. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to make sure that Chris is okay. Yep. And that has never happened. What I love about this video is even the person calling in. Now, was the person a plant or an actual customer? I don't know. But it doesn't really matter for the humor in it because the person calling in is trying to help to help the host salvage this situation. And it's just, when you're selling somebody some product that has just injured a, injured a person, there is just no salvaging it. Okay. Let's go to number five. It is also a ladder home shopping network type video, but the reason why this makes the grade and the other one didn't is just a lot of little details that make it a little bit funnier than your typical video. Little buttons, and all you do is push them in and that will release it, and what, right here. Push the button in, that releases it, and then after you let go, it locks. Firmly in place, so really, you're all set. And this is tough. It is? Just listen, give you an example. Okay. 
first check out the co-host. I think when you look up Demure in the dictionary, she appears wearing this Dr. Quinn medicine woman dress. Say you have a, you know, you have to get up on the wall, high ceiling, vault right. ceiling. Hey, listen, just walk right up. And I tell you, it's very safe, it's durable, and Girl, it's lightweight. Scaring. The key is this guy. He is very enthusiastic. He wants to get good marks for selling these ladders, and he probably wants to impress Jane Seymour here. Now, if you've seen any of the documentaries about Home Shopping Network or some of the movies that they've made about it, they tested a lot of hosts, and you get a couple of chances to prove you can sell products, and you have to move them. So this guy was just completely committed here. Oh, really? <laughs> The, now it's locked in place, okay? Okay, this is what makes this a unique fail. The jig is up. This ladder has buckled. It's over. But somehow, instead of admitting defeat, this guy just regroups and presses on. So really, you think, oh God, Harold, are you okay? Actually, I didn't have it locked. The way he falls here is absolutely awesome. This might actually be the first scorpion fall for you ridiculousness fans out there. You have to lock it. <laughs> Once you lock it, you're okay. But it is very safe to operate. So continue to call for it. All righty. Well, Harold, I hope you're okay. And this is the kicker. He doesn't even give up now, and he thinks he can still make a persuasive case, even though he's lying on the ground trying to recover from this injury. Okay, number four. In this video, you're only going to see one person but somehow you get the experience of both a sophisticated, maybe stuck up white man from the Northeast, but you also get to see a black man from the South in the same video. What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School? See if you can notice when the black man takes over. That led to Chris Wood's death. The fuck is that? Shit! I'm dying in this fucking country ass fucked up town. <laughs> Shit flying in my mouth. The fuck? I can't see pollen. Let's get the fuck out of this country, motherfucker. I can't even see me. He was literally ready to quit his job over a bug flying in his mouth. I mean, you've got to love that. In number three, there is lots to recommend this video but none of it can be actually understood or explained, so I won't even try that. No, you might be thinking, well, I'm very intelligent and savvy. I can understand this. Nope, the smartest person in the world can never ex understand the details of what make this video funny and different. It just makes no sense. Okay, so this is apparently attempt to show their skills that lend themselves to be in music videos. This is the early ages of the internet, and maybe this was gonna rocket ship them to success. Okay, there's a mix of good and bad here. On the good is the song. It's a Beyonce song. It's very catchy. On the bad, I'm not sure why nobody thought about turning the TV off, or at least turning the volume down while they filmed this breakthrough video for their career. On the good is the choreography. She did a great job learning the moves from the video. On the bad, who selected the costumes here? I mean, do single ladies dress up like clowns? I'm not a single lady, it's not really my world. So just, if you're a single lady, let me know in the comments. Maybe that's a thing and I just missed it. Okay. So on the good, very comforting friend. But on the bad, once again, I am not sure we needed the TV at all, and certainly not right here in retrospect. Okay, number two, for such a short video, there is an awful lot here, and you can focus on different things each time, and it is funny in a different way. Okay, first let's start with the main girl here. She mentioned some pop stars here, and she fancies herself a bit of an entertainment critic, I believe. 
Cher Lloyd by Cher Lloyd or Rebecca G. Ray. Okay, now sometimes I focus on her younger sister. A little slack-jawed here, but she's clearly happy to be with her big sis, and that's nice. Except what's not so nice is her big sis has done something little sis is unaware of. Let's find out what that is. And don't forget all the trouble we got into. Why does somebody not know how to flush the toilet after they've had a shit? What do you mean? Well, I was fucking one of yous. Disgusting! So as a parent, you can certainly relate, and I love how they went from pop critics to in trouble kids so quickly. You might be asking yourself, how do you know Big Sis is the culprit? Well, if you watch it again, you will see Little Sis is confused about the scolding and asks for clarification. Big Sis is not confused. Guilty is charged here. And don't forget all the trouble we got into. Why does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a shit? What do you mean? Well, it was fucking one of yous. Disgusting! Okay, number one, tell me in the comments what you think is the funniest video of all time. You're not going to convince me to supplant this one in my heart because this was on our local news in Washington, D.C. area when I was a kid. So picture yourself being a young teenager and seeing this video for the first time live. Just imagine my perspective. You'll understand why I have this as number one. Let's all right, ready? Give us a 30 second time. Here we go. So what's the deal here? You, there's a contest to stump, and how are you measuring who does the best stumping? And whoever stumps the most shoes wins an overnight stay, but it's not the only thing you can do. Okay. What we have here is a reporter doing a remote, talking about some fun activities a winery has in available, and in particular, a wine stomping competition. The measuring cups are down below, right? The measuring cups are down below. All right. So, and and if, you, if you win, you get to stay in Chateau Milan. And what else do you have going on here? Well, if drinks something quite your thing, you can come and spend the day listening to live music, eating international foods, having wine tours and tasting, vineyard tours, seminars, arts and crafts. Some background for those who have not seen our other list, and in particular, our five greatest baseball players of all time. I hate cheaters. I have psychological trauma from when I was a kid, and it created this outrageous sense of fairness in me. That doesn't sound like a big deal, and maybe even sounds laudable. It is a huge weakness. It is my fatal flaw because life is not fair. That is something you need to accept very early on, and it haunts me. Anyways, that's another video. I could do that next week, or whatever you guys want to see next week, put it in the comments. But what happens here in this situation is the reporter cheats. The reporter cheats to win the contest, and just like Barry Bond, she will not be making the Hall of Fame ever. It's a lot of fun, a whole day. Hurt. No, I think she is. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I hope she's okay. Okay. Mm. We're gonna make sure she is. We'll try and check on her and get back right. to you as soon as we can. We'll be back mm. right after this. Okay, this video is just for us to laugh. Um, if you feel it's not good nature laughing at other people's foibles, I apologize. You got a legitimate beef there, I guess, but it's just really funny to me. What top five lists would you like to see in the next episode top five personal flaws we brought up maybe we can do that we're open to any ideas just let us know in the comments and when we post your idea we will give you a shout out and we will see all of you next time on top five friday and the four chains